Alright people, welcome back to another episode of Card Review. So today we are looking at Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon. Yes, Odd Eyes has a ritual. There's a Pendulum, there's a Synchro, there's an Xe, there's a Fusion, there's a Ritual. Odd Eyes gets everything. <laughs> and uh, how good this card is. So Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon, you can see kind of the art's interesting. It's more of a darker image of Odd Eyes. Still got that kind of body structure, but it looks like, ooh, are those rocks? I mean, that makes sense. Gravity, rocks. Yeah, okay. You no. Know, uh, Dragon Ritual Effect Monster Earth. 2800 defense. I mean, attack. 2800 attack, 2500 defense. Holy shit. I, this video is already getting terrible, but I'm not recording this for a third fucking time because I'm terrible at recording. Mm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look at this effect. We're also going to look at, it, of course, the card that Ritual summons it. So, you can Ritual summon this card with Arai's Advent. Alright, pause. Let's go ahead and look at Arai's Advent. All that is, is a ritual spell that reads, This card can be used to ritual summon any dragon type ritual monster from your hand or graveyard. Hmm, interesting. So it doesn't have to be just for gravity dragon. It can also be for any dragon type ritual monster. And what deck has a little bit of that dragon type ritual? Of course, red eyes. Yeah, you know, I definitely think that splashing a little bit of ritual in the red eyes deck makes it just a little tad bit better. So you can actually use this card to go ahead and summon the monster from your hand or graveyard. Okay, so it's like, um, cycle. Cycle, yeah, summon the monster from your graveyard. You must also tribute pendulum monsters. All right, you have to tribute pendulum monsters from your hand or field, and or if your opponent controls two or more monsters, and you control no monsters, you can send odd eyes monster from your extra deck to the graveyard, whose total level equals to the level of that ritual monster or more. You can only activate one odd eyes advent per turn. So pendulum monster from your hand, they go in the graveyard if you if you if you tribute them. But if the pendulum monsters are on the field and then you tribute them, then they go back to extra deck and can of course be used for later. So, there you go. But, of course, how they did it with kind of like the Odd Eyes Fusion, they're like, hey, you know, if your opponent has two or more monsters and you control none, you can go ahead and send some Odd Eyes monsters from your extra deck because, you know, you got that uh, Synchro and you got that Xe and, you know, maybe you might have your Pendulum. So, they're just like, you know what, go ahead and send uh, Odd Eyes from your extra deck to the graveyard whose total level will equal to... That ritual monster, so they're assuming you're gonna end some gravity. So they're like, hey, your opponent controls two monsters, you don't go ahead and play this card. Send, like, you know, the the Odd Eyes uh, fusion monster. I mean, yeah, the Odd Eyes fusion monster or the Odd Eyes synchro monster. Go ahead and send that from the to the graveyard, and bam, go ahead and summon this. But uh, like I can say this can be used to uh, summon the. Uh, other dragons, so you can go ahead and just send the uh, Odd Eyes Fusion or uh, Synchro Monster and go ahead and summon yourself that uh, that Knight of Black Dragon, the Red Eyes deck. So there you go, a little bit more of incentive right there. But uh, you can only activate one of these once per turn, which is totally fine, totally fine, totally justified. So let's go ahead and summon this Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon, and now he's on the field. Let's look at his track. So when this card is special summoned, keep that in mind, you can turn all spells and trap cards your opponent controls. To the hand, nice and powerful. So, of course, it's a pendulum based deck. Uh, very, it can often push for games. So that's pretty good to be able to go ahead and clear up that uh, back row. Go ahead and, and harp oh, giant true nade your uh, cards, spell your opponent's spells and traps. I'm I'm doing a terrible job at this review. I'm getting all tongue tied and everything. Ah, we move on. <laughs> Return all the spells and traps your opponent controls back to the hand. And just to put that cherry on top. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. Spell speed 4. So, no, you cannot chain and activate that Phoenix Chain in the game effect. No, you can't. Nope. I'm summoning it. I'm going to activate my effect. No response. Put that out of the deck in your hand, and I'm going to push. I'm about to go balls deep. Okay. <laughs> so that's not bad. That's not bad. And keep in mind, this says when this card is special summon. Not ritual summon. Special summon. So, I should you not. This card is in your graveyard, and your opponent sets some back row. You're about, during your end phase, call the Haunted, summon this. Ah, back to your hand. My turn, so uh, not bad, not bad. And uh, another effect, you can only use this effect of All Night's Gravity Dragon once per turn. So there you go, so you can't be like, all right, summon All Night's Gravity Dragon, put it back, and then your opponent resets it, and you do it again. No, no, you can't do it again, only once per turn. But really, you only need to use this effect once per turn, right? But one more effect. Your opponent must pay 500 life points to activate card effects. Yeah, you did that with Flare. 
Interesting. But you know what's really interesting? This card is level 7, so maybe they have a little bit of synergy, and then maybe XC this and another level 7 into Flare, and then revive this back, and, and then you have Flare and this on the field. Hey, opponent, do you want to pay 1,000 life points to activate a card or effect? Shit, maybe I should go ahead and activate some chain energy with that shit too. Like, you know what? I don't want to play anyway. Because every time I play something, I'm just going to get burned. Like, oh my god. That is, and like I said, life points don't matter when it comes to resources, but you need life points to, you know, duel. So, it, it's kind of like a, you know, double-edged sword. And it definitely is. It's just like, yeah, your opponent has to pay 500 life points. Or, with Final Fantasy, 1,000 life points to activate a card or effect. And like, oh my god. Like, what's that, what's that trap card in oh, it's a Curse of Darkness? Where it's like, if your opponent activates, they have to pay like a thousand life points to activate spell cards. It's a pretty good ca card to play back when our spell books were done with spell book of judgment. You know? The, essentially, you could do that, except it's just any card. It's not just spells. Spells, traps, monster effects. If they want to activate anything, they're taking that life point damage. So, you know, and with this being a 28 beater, that's not bad. You know, and returning all them spells and trap cards, your opponent controls their hand. I mean, if they want to activate them, they're going to have to pay. So, not bad. This card is not bad. You know, it has a little bit of strange flair. It's level 7. And, uh, you know, I can definitely see you maybe splashing it in with a Red Eyes deck. That's what I can definitely see. Um, it's spacing. You know, its Ritual card has synergy with the Ritual cards of Red Eyes. Uh, it can, it has synergy with Flare. I can definitely see you going ahead and just splashing this in with a Red Eyes deck. Because, why not? Because, synergy. So, tell me what you guys think about Gravity Dragon in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review, and tell me what you guys are planning on doing with this card. So, of course, Ada is the main monster, just putting in that work, you know. Uh, it's the new seven, new main character's card, and it's just, you know, it's just showing that it can do everything. Everything, everything. So, alright people, thanks for watching.